What would you like a robot to do for you today? We know that the robotic technology is fast evolving, taking on a variety of tasks that previously only people could do, maybe even your job. Well, the big CES technology show in Las Vegas at the beginning of the year showcased some of the new robots in development. Spencer Kelly from the BBC's Click Show went along to have a look. Don't know about you, but I still love a robot. Here's one that's making me a latte. Tell you this better be a blooming good copy. Whether or not it will beat the human barista or indeed the coffee maker depends on your point of view, I suppose. But this type of bot certainly generates a bit of interest at these shows. <laughs> BBC foamy hazelnut latte, they even know my nickname. Thanks for coming. Have a nice day. I will, thank you very much. Mm. Much more useful, and I think more practical, are robots that can roam our world doing the more mundane stuff like sweeping the roads. Here's a concept robot mooting the idea that if you're gonna go off grid, you might want a solar panel on wheels that follows the sun like a sunflower, gradually charging its batteries so that you can then run your camp, your car, or anything else you got knocking about that's electric. I'm just waiting for my next guest in this robot theme section. Don't know where it is. Oh my. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is H1, a remote controlled prototype from Chinese company Unitree. I've seen this outfit at a couple of tech fairs now, and although Boston Dynamics has one YouTube with its amazing dog and humanoid bot vids, this is a reminder that this kind of tech is not unique anymore. H1 is nowhere near as advanced as some, but it does have the basic balancing skills, which means it can certainly handle some action from a kid from the mean streets of Vegas. All right, I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> I think it's time to exit stage right. Cool. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Not happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> 